We're leaping into Wednesday with lemurs plus a very prickly friend at SeaWorld. And we're brewing up some beer facts how to properly taste a good cold brewski and what makes a good beer. Plus, it's Ash Wednesday. We have a Lenten recipe you will love. Ooh, it looks delicious. Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, this is SA Live. Ah, uh, happy, wonderful Wednesday, and David's out there at Circle K. He has the scoop on how you can snag free, yes, free prizes and huge giveaways just a little bit later. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at the donuts. Wow. He better bring those back to the office later on, David. <laughs> Where are they going? <laughs> I know. I got distracted there. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Jen Tobias Jeske filling in for Fiona. We have a packed show today, but what better way to start than with some positivity? We have Wayward Whiskers Rescue here today, and they are a cat rescue, a nonprofit that takes in injured or strict, uh, sick stray cats in the Alamo City, helping them find the perfect forever home. Executive Director Sherry Fow is here. That wasn't her. That was. <laughs> this is. This is blue. This is blue. Yeah. Okay. Whoops. Oh, it's going to. Don't lose oh, your little gonna... so, okay. There you go. So you take in uh, stray and injured cats, mm -hmm. right? Right. Was he stray and injured? He, he is actually from Kuwait. Um, he came from Kuwait where they are a little bit more lax on their animal cruelty laws. Um, mm -hmm. And so cats over there don't get treated very well. So he was actually rescued over there. And then he flew here on a 21-hour flight wow. and um, came to us about a week ago. So he is actually oh, FIV positive, um, which is a feline immunodeficiency virus. Mm -hmm. So it's basically, it suppresses his immune system, but he is totally healthy. As you can see, he has no problem eating. Um, <laughs> now, can the FIV be cured? It cannot be cured. Okay. It is something that they're going to have the rest of their life, but it is not highly contagious. So if you have another cat, and as long as they get along... As long as they get along. Unlike, because I was mistaken when I was reading about it, I was thinking mm -hmm. it was contagious, but that's the feline leukemia. Right, exactly. Feline leukemia is contagious, so when the cats are, are in the same room together or living together, it can be passed that way, but with FIV, it's only passed if they bite each other. Oh, so okay. they would have to really hate each other to pass it along. And as far as humans are concerned, this is of no concern. Oh, yeah, absolutely not. Okay. People cannot get FIV. So the rehabilitation for the cats, tell us a little bit about that because mm -hmm. we have another friend down here. We do. Um, so Gray is also FIV positive. Let me get him here. He weighs about 15 pounds. Oh, hey, Gray. <laughs> so this is Gray. He actually came to us with some head trauma. Um, oh. As you can see, if you zoom in on his eyes, his eyes are dilated a little bit differently. Mm-hmm. Um, and that is from head trauma. It does not ever go away, but it doesn't affect his day-to-day um, -day life at all. How and much does he eat? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, how much he does he eat? Boy. That's a great question. He's, he's like, wow. He eats a lot. He's a 15-pound hefty guy. So, And he's super sweet, but he's a little scared today. So I'm just going to hold him he so he doesn't. He was wandering around yeah. earlier. Yeah. <laughs> he got into some trouble earlier. So We lost him earlier. <laughs> yeah. him somewhere behind yeah, him. Yeah, so we did. Here, so. He was just kind of hanging out, looking around. Yeah, and he's you, good. And you mentioned that adopting cats, that's a little bit more of a challenge. Everybody has dogs. We talked yeah. about that earlier. So, so you encourage people who... Even if they're not maybe a cat person, what would you yeah. say to them? To well, cats cats get a bad rap. Um, and I think that, you know, if you just get to know one, if you had a bad experience as a kid with a cat and, you know, you got scratched or bitten or something, um, you got to give them another chance because they're super sweet, mm -hmm. super friendly. Um, and they're, you know, a lot of them are kind of like dogs. This yeah. one will follow me around everywhere and he loves on me and he likes <laughs> to be held and he's super sweet. So and the nice thing about cats too, they're pretty much self-sufficient as far as, I mean, you mm -hmm. put down food and water and then yep. the litter box, just keep it nice and chained. You yep. don't have to let them out or anything like nope. that. So if you're in, a, in an apartment or something, it'd be perfect. Yeah, answer. exactly. Apartments, um, we've actually had some adoptions with college dorms. Um, oh, nice. If the dorm allows animals, we've adopted cats to there. Um, and yeah, you don't have to walk them in the, in the freezing cold. Like it's been, you know, 30 degrees the last few days. You don't have to take them out for a walk in that. Okay. Obviously, you work on donations. How does somebody mm -hmm. donate? Mm -hmm. So if you go to our website, um, I think they've put, they're putting it on the screen, and we can donate through PayPal, 
Um, we also have our Amazon wish list. So if you want to send us some food, as you can see, we go through it really quickly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you All just right. about to clean that up in this whole segment. Well, for yeah. more information on Wayward Whiskers Cat Rescue, just visit salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. I hope they find some perfect forever oh, hats. Sherry, thank you very much. Thank you so and, much. And you guys, how is that pretty good stuff there? <laughs> okay. All right, well, from cute kittens to leaping lemurs. Yes, Fiona introduces us to some wild friends over at SeaWorld. Plus, she gets up close and personal with a uh, kind of something a little prickly for okay. spring break. <laughs> well, spring break is about to be upon us, so why not get wild over here at SeaWorld? And Clay Carvajal joins me, Animal Ambassador. Thank you, my and friend. who do we have who's about to hop on in? Ready to see this? Spring yes. Break Magic, here it comes. Yes. This is a black and white roughed lemur, <gasps> and his name is Bataka. Hi, Bataka. <laughs> now, these animals come from Madagascar. You have a piece of banana, right? I do. Extend it out. Show Bataka okay. you have it there. There you go. Now, Fiona, this is a critically endangered species that come from the island of Madagascar. That island is the size of the state of Texas. Now, there, over 90% of the island has been deforested and destroyed. And our Seawilbur's Gardens Conservation Fund is sponsoring projects currently in Madagascar to help the endangered black and white rough lemur, along with all other lemur species. Now you might notice when he eats a piece of fruit from you, he chews that fruit, tilts his head back, and gets those sweet juices. They're actually fruit of wars. So when they eat a piece of fruit, they digest the fruit, but not the seeds. But what does his name mean? Bataka means jump in Malagasy. We have a prickly friend. Yes, we do. <laughs> but his name is Justin. He's working with Jabari here, and Jabari is an African crested porcupine. Just look at these quills. I'm looking at them. They're <laughs> hard to miss. How long are they? Well, that's a good question. Here, I actually brought one for you to take home. This is one of the smaller quills off his back. Wow. These animals can have well over 500 quills on their back, and the quills are made of the same thing your hair is made out of. Now, if you touch the tip, look at that. Yeah, it's hard. There's, not, there's no barbs on it. It's a straight edge. So when they stab a lion or a leopard, that is meant for them to be able to equi uh, quickly escape their predators. So they could use this rattle back here, this rattle style quill, they'll make it like a rattlesnake sound. It'll scare away lions and leopards, but if it doesn't work, they can flare these quills up and over their body, make themselves look a lot bigger, mm -hmm. protect their head and neck, and defend themselves from predators. This is a huge defense mechanism, and this is one of the animals and the style in which, if you come out to SeaWorld during our Inside Look event, it's coming up here very soon, you'll be able to get up close with animals like this, get a behind the scenes look at how our trainers work with the animals, and learn things about animals like this that you've never heard before. How fast do they move? Can they Start move running, Fiona, let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> they do have a nice trot to them. They aren't the fastest animal in the world. They definitely cannot outrun a lion or a leopard. That's why they have to rely on this okay. amazing quill back here. They also have feeler quills right here, which help to protect them if they sense something coming, like a spidey sense. Oh my gosh, how's their eyesight? Pretty bad. Really? Very, very poor eyesight. That's why they have to rely on their other senses to protect themselves. Now, SeaWorld is a, a great place for all families to visit, to get up close, experiences like this. We really feel to our heart that if you come up and get a close experience with these animals, you want to love and protect them out in the natural world. Uh, it might be in Africa, it might be in your own backyard. If we're better and responsible at home, we can help animals like this. And to come out and see Jabari, we actually right now for less than $5 a month, you can get a SeaWorld annual pass. You can come out and see these animals as many times as you want. Come to all of our events from Electric Ocean to Inside Look to Seven Seas Food Festival. Come out and see all the animals and all the events we have to offer because they are so much fun. Look at this. Sit next to a porcupine. Right. I'm just glad I'm on this end. Yeah. We can change that. <laughs> new, 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 new. <laughs> So you have got to promise to come out to SeaWorld San Antonio for spring break to see animals just like this and all the other animals that call SeaWorld San Antonio home. And while you're out at SeaWorld for spring break, pop over next door to our sister park Aquatica where you can ride Ehu's Breakaway Falls, the tallest drop tower in the state of Texas. It's going to be a big blast for you and the whole family. Did you say drop tower? I said As drop tower. If the bottom drops out from That's you. right. You're going to stand there mm. feeling tense mm -hmm. and then whew, Right down. <laughs> it's the extreme part of Aquatica, but if you're not into that, we also have plenty of serene opportunities. So come out and visit SeaWorld San Antonio and Aquatica San Antonio this spring break starting March 9th. For more information on SeaWorld San Antonio, just head to SeaWorldSanAntonio.com. Still ahead on SA Live, just in time for Lent, we are cooking up seafood recipes with Chef Benitez.
Oh, that looks good. Mm -hmm. Plus, we are shaking things up for St. Patrick's Day. Irish cocktails you can mm -hmm. make at home. Stay with us. Welcome back to SA Live, everyone. We are talking whiskey today and Irish whiskey just in time for St. Patrick's Day. We're shaking things up for St. Patty's Day. And we have two cocktails, great recipes with Tullamore Dew Whiskey. Yes, Donna Stewart, a brand ambassador, here with us today. And first, before we do the cocktails, you have a game for us. Yes, I do. I just thought it'd be kind of fun to talk about St. Patrick's Day and see if you guys know all the trivia questions that I've got. Mike's excited. Ooh, you she, see? It's like competitive, it. too. She, <laughs> looks, she kind of closed her eyes. She's a true <laughs> Irish lass, so she knows all about this. I okay. am. I am indeed. Let's go. All right. Okay. True or false? The real St. Patrick wore, wore blue robes, not green. I say um, true. I say true. You're right. He did. He <laughs> wore blue. And then, of course, the shamrock came to be the national symbol of Ireland. And he, we now say that he wore green and we all wear green. Ah, OK. Yeah. So Next question. question. Mm -hmm. OK. New York City has the largest St. Patrick's Day parade and Chicago has the second largest. True or false? Ooh. I'm going to say false. I'm going to say true. OK. I well, so actually, Georgia? Huh. Yes, Savannah, Georgia is the second biggest. You were right. Uh, 300,000 people go to Savannah to you see the, the shock Patrick's in Day his parade. face. No kidding. <laughs> Jaw drops. Learn something new. Okay. <laughs> All right. True or false? St. Patrick was born in Ireland. I'll say false. I'll say true. Okay. You're right. Oh, he was actually guess. born in Wales and he came over to oh. Ireland as a teenager. Okay, so yeah, you did a great job. Oh, well, yeah. okay. I get a drink Mike. now for Hi. that. Hey. <laughs> All right, yes. let's drink up now. Drink time. All right, what are we okay, making? Okay, fabulous. So what we're going to make today is two very simple cocktails, three ingredients each, both made with Tullamore Dew Irish whiskey. Okay. So we're going to go with the gold rush first, okay? okay. So you're going to make it for me. Okay. I've already put ice in here for you. Here's your, your jigger. How cute is that? And we're going to fill this to the okay. top with Tullamore Dew. Okay. So Tullamore Dew is a triple blended Irish whiskey. It uses all three types of whiskey that are made in Ireland. Which are? Malt, grain, and pot still. Pot still. And you said that was going way back to the time of taxes and all that stuff, and they didn't use malted. Yeah, they put uh, unmalted and malted. So okay. you're going to drop in the lemon juice. And pot still is very special to Ireland. Okay, and this and is the, you, you said, second largest spin. seller in the world it? as far as Irish whiskey, correct? Second largest Irish whiskey in the world, okay. correct. You know your stuff. You just said oh, that in the commercial break. Too, so I'm just <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Thank you for prompting That's me. plenty. Plenty of oh, yeah. Okay. And now you can put the lid on and you're going to give it a little shake. All right. Shake it up. Good woman. All righty. All right, and you just take this one off and pour it in so on top cold. of your rice. And this one is called the... This is called the Gold Rush. So lemon juice, honey, and Irish whiskey, Tullamore Dew. That sounds good. Mm, I right. like the honey. And the one I'm making is just the classic... It's called an old fashioned, right? So it's a twist on the American <laughs> old fashioned. Because oh. we say old in Ireland when we say old. An old fashioned. So, All right. So but you're it's good. not different than the American old fashioned. It is because oh, it's it got is. Irish whiskey, right? Instead of bourbon. <laughs> so. Ask a silly question. So. All right. <laughs> so we're going to put in a, a sugar cube. Okay. And then we're going to put in a few shakes of bitters. And I'll just tell you a little bit about Tullamore Dew. Tullamore is a town in Ireland. Mm -hmm. And dew is not the dew on the grass in the morning. <laughs> it stands for Daniel Edmund Williams. Yeah, there you go, on your jigger. The man who helped to perfect our liquid and put a stamp on it and with, came up with the tagline, give every man his dew. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's easy to remember. Trivia. I love yeah. this. Is that enough whiskey or should I put more I in think there? you should put a bit more in there. Come on, Mike. That's perfect. There you go. Just in time for and then you'll use your strainer and you'll just strain it in over the ice. Okay. And three ingredients to make a perfect old fashioned. Which one's your favorite out of these you two? You can put this garnish oh, on here. Yeah. My favorite, oh, that's a good question. I'm actually, it depends on the time of day. That's your garnish, an orange peel. Uh, it depends on the time of day, but I do love this in the summertime. It's very refreshing. Yes. This is a little bit more of a sipper. And <laughs> if you want, we could do an Irish toast. Oh, yes, please, yes. show us how. Okay. This is great. Listen. There are good ships, there are wood ships, and there are ships that sail the sea, but the best ships are friendships, and forever may we be. Oh, I Cheers. Think I'm gonna cry. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. To that one. Oh. And, of course, you can find this at uh, all the places where you Oh, you can find it all your... over. Mm. Yeah, and remember, everyone is Very Irish good. on St. Patrick's Day. And if you noticed, I'm wearing a shirt Let's with my see the name back. on the back. My last name is Stuart. But we're making t-shirts with your last name with an O in front of it. So you awesome. can be O 
your last name. Oh, and you can order them online. Well, with, with me, I'd have to be oh, Osterhage. Mick Osterhage, I guess, so, since that yeah. starts with an O. So. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, it's Irish show, enough. So. Anyway, hey, that, that's a very tasty drink. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. Thank you very much, and happy St. Patty's Day. Happy St. Patty's Day. Can you have say St. Patty's Day, or does it have to be St. Patty's Day? St. Patty's Day is St. perfect. Patty's Day is I perfect. love your accent. Okay. You're so cute. I love Thank the accent. <laughs> hey, if you would like more information on these recipes and Tula Moore mm. Do Whiskey, visit SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA live tab. Okay, still ahead from whiskey to a cold brew. We're talking Beer 101 with Cactus Land Brewing. Plus freebies and more over at Circle K. Details on how you can win big. Yep, he still has his goodies with him. Stay with us. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, giveaways and freebies, two things we all like to hear, and yep. Circle K has that going on this month during their customer appreciation events. And, of course, you still have a few more weeks to snag some of the great deals at all of the San Antonio locations. David Elder joins us now from Circle K up there at Judson and Nacogdoches. And I saw earlier you had donuts, you had hot dogs. What else you got out there? I'm, I'm chasing Ted down. He's going to try one here in a little bit. But check this out. We got hot dogs. We got new in-store donuts, Polar Pop, coffees, everything that you love about Circle K. And we have 30, over more than 30 events right. happening for the month of March. And to talk about these sweet deals, Abby catching us here. Now, this is customer appreciation events, right? Right, and we're going to have sweet deals at select locations this Friday and the remaining Fridays in March. Hey, you can go ahead and look. Oh, okay, your hot okay. Dog. I'm going to address this up. Yeah, Keep go talking ahead. about Make the sure events. Get some relish, some onions, and all that good stuff. <laughs> but customer appreciation, that's cool. Right, and to find out what stores are participating, mm -hmm. you can go to circlek.com slash Texas, find the customer appreciation link. Uh -huh. And on that link, the stores will be on there as well as their address. Oh. And like you said, they're going to be participating in special offers that day. BOGO hot dogs, go. Go take it. Go ahead and take a. Okay, I'm taking a bite. bite. Yeah, this one's the the jalapeno one. Is I'm gonna... Pretty good, right? That's fire. And that's on fire. <laughs> yeah, you need to cool down with a polar pop. Yes. Okay, let's I'm... cool down with a polar pop. Okay. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get one too. Okay. Woo! Oh, that is spicy. But I love this. I mean, Polar Pop, that's what people, when you think of Circle K, you think of Polar Pops, right? Right, and on Customer Appreciation oh. Day, if you buy a Polar Pop, you'll automatically get a donut for free. You get a donut for free? Right, and if you're not a Polar Pop person or not a soda person, you can buy a coffee as well and mm. get that free donut. And check this out. This is what we got going on over here. Those donuts look delicious. Has to be a donut with a hole in it, you guys, but there's so many options. There's chocolate, you got glaze, you have the pink icing, which I love. But talk to me about these coffee mugs right here, because these are not your average coffee mugs. Right, so at the events, we're gonna have some giveaways and those mugs will be one of them. Now they're while supplies last, so make sure you come in early on Friday. Mm -hmm. The event starts at 7 a.m. and it will go to 6 p.m. Um, so just make sure to come in early, get your free tumbler, and then you can refill it at any store that you'd like. I love it. I mean, I lo these are, I mean, that's a durable, durable cup. That's yeah. a dur <laughs> you can keep this in the car, it won't go anywhere, it won't collapse on you. I'm gonna try one of these donuts right here. Go for I it. mean, because these are, this, you think of donuts, you, got, you want them fresh, and that's what you guys have out here. Right, and one important thing to note is that these donuts are brand new. We just introduced mm. them into our stores oh, last they're week. They're really good. We're super excited about yeah. them. They've got great flavor, and we're really looking forward to everyone trying them out. You guys, I mean, cus customer appreciation days, how cool is that? You can get your Polar Pop. I mean, you can see there's different sizes out here, too. You got the little ones, you got the big ones, and you got the one if you're going on a road trip and you don't feel like stopping. <laughs> and you can come out here, you get your gas, the delicious right. hot dogs, tons of options on there mm -hmm. as well. I mean, and everything's fresh. That's right. I love it. And these donuts are delicious. You guys got to try them out. Now, if you want more information on these customer appreciation days and the events coming up, you guys can go to circlek.com slash Texas. has a list of all the locations. That's right. And uh, here, you want a hot dog? <laughs> you can either, you, you dress you dress yours yourself. Yeah, I put a lot on there. Don't really worry about like it. These yeah, yeah, I know. You kind of yeah, you go for the ketchup. I'm gonna keep eating this donut, but we're gonna send it back out there to Mike. <laughs> Poor Abby, she's gonna get all messy with that hot dog. I don't know which <laughs> it looks better though, the dog or the donut. I know, I was just thinking that. I'd mm -hmm. go for the hot dog. Or both. Even though it's messy. Yeah, both. Why not? Dinner dessert. <laughs> all right. Well, next on SA Live, yes, we're talking more food. We're cooking up with Chef Benita, some recipes you do not have to give up for Lent. Plus, here's what's happening at the Tobin Center, brought to you by BMW of San Antonio.
Welcome back to SA Live. Well, today is Ash Wednesday, which means we'll be eating a lot more seafood as Lent is underway now. And so we have Chef Benitez here today because you love seafood, right? I love seafood. I'm infatuated by seafood. So you make some really good seafood too. So we're going to start today with an appetizer. <laughs> Tell us what we have here. This so this is going to be a little bit of a carrot ginger puree, a caramelized onions, kale, mm -hmm. and a seared scallops with Looks a little bit of lemon juice. It looks beautiful. Thank you so much. Wow. Okay, so this is something we can maybe make at home. So we're going to get started. So okay. tell me where we start. So we are going to duplicate that, and we're going to sear our scallops first. So you want to season them first with a little bit of salt, salt if perfect. your hands are clean. They are very clean. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then just going to be uh -huh, just a little bit of butter in the pan first. Okay. So scallops, I don't eat too, too much scallops. So tell okay. me about the taste of scallops. So scallops are real, um, I guess, buttery. Okay. They're, they're really, they're just so sweet. And then you just want to get a little sear so it has a nice little crisp. Okay. And then they pair well with pretty much anything you can do. You can do spicy, you can do creamy, you can do purees, whatever you want. Tons of veggies. It takes on flavor really well. So you get pretty creative with this. You can, yes. That's why I love about seafood because you can really do whatever you want. And, and it plays well with anything, really. Now, is this the first time you made this appetizer? Yes. For us? <laughs> You sent us the recipe yesterday. I was like, oh, that sounds good. And it just then today sounded good like, in my head. You know what? I haven't even made it before. So, so a lot of things, a lot of things that I do, it just, I just go with it because you don't know what there's, what's going to be available, what looks good, what doesn't look good. So I just go ahead and play with everything. So we talk about your seafood. Now, mm -hmm. if people go out to, to your food truck, you have okay. all kinds. I mean, that right there looks amazing. Uh, Tell me about what we're looking at. That is a uh, soft shell crab BLT. So I lightly eat some pearl batter soft shell crab and it comes with a jalapeno honey mayo. Stop so it. So good. <laughs> And this one here? <laughs> that one is our, that's what we're known for. That's our shrimp burger, and it's topped with a little bit of cabbage slaw. And that? And that's our lobster and shrimp roll. Okay. And then that's Veggie. some of, for my clients. Yeah. So you have a lot of clients. We'll talk about that a little later in yes. the show, but <laughs> that all looks so delicious. You weren't kidding about your love for seafood. No. So how are these doing here? So those are good. You can flip those already. Okay, let me flip these. There you go. Yeah. See, nice little sear. Yeah. Don't burn yourself. You'll be all right. I know. I there you go. Too. Okay. So that's really, really good. So a key to cooking scallops is you want to pat dry them so that way they get that nice sear on top. Okay. So that way they don't have any kind of condensation or anything like that. Got it. And so what this is, tell me about this so puree again. That is carrot ginger. So we just did it. I just cooked a little bit of carrots in a vegetable stock. Okay. A little bit of butter and salt. And Simplicity is so key. good. I like simple. Simplicity look, is look key. Okay. So this is just going to be a little bit of caramelized onions and mm -hmm. then just fresh kale. Okay. And then just a little bit of salt and lemon juice. So where can people find your food truck if they're looking for you? The weekends, we're at the Block SA a lot. Um, we go a lot of downtown. We do a lot of downtown events. And then uh, for lunch, we're a lot downtown. Okay. So and I, I love that you said people can hire you, too, because we're thinking about getting you to go out to our station. Anybody can hire me. Anybody <laughs> can hire my food truck. Anybody can hire me personally. At breakfast in bed, whatever y'all need. Oh, I can okay. do whatever y'all okay. need. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's not kidding either. So okay. then we can uh, squeeze a little bit of lemon okay. juice on that. Mike, you want to come in here? Because I know Mike wants to taste. Maybe we can give him the... Okay. You'll oh, be good. Don't be shy. <laughs> here. All right. Ooh, All right. So, so Mike's nice going to taste Nice sear on the uh, scallop. You know, I try. Yeah. <laughs> that looks really, really tasty. Okay. You going to try a little bite? Here, you go first. And then we're going to okay. talk about what we're going to make when we come back from commercial break. Because if you look at that beautiful dish while Mike gets his bite ready, we are going to make some lobster and grits coming up after the break. But how is it, Mike? Happy dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Wow. Yeah, everything's that, play well together. That carrot ginger puree, mm -hmm. it's just a whole different flavor to it. For sure. It goes perfectly yes. with those scallops. Oh, yes. we're not done. We're not done. All right, you eat up, Mike. But when okay. we come back, we're going to make the lobster and grits recipe. I'm really excited about that. Uh, so stay with us. And next on the show, we're also talking beer, a really cool event that features women in the beer industry. And we'll test Mike's beer knowledge as well. So stay with us. All right, we're back. As promised, two words for you, lobster and grits. The perfect recipe to start now as Lent is underway. So uh, what are we making today? Because that looks amazing because there's more than just the lobster and grits, right? Definitely. There's a little bit of hominy hash and a little bit of charred guajillo. Oh, I don't know what you just said, but it sounds great. <laughs> okay, so then uh, we're going to put the lobster. I've never yes. made lobster before. Okay, so we're just going to grab the lobster. Okay. Just put it into the pan. Wait, tongs? Your tongs or your hands, either oh, or. Yeah. There you go. All right. Okay. 
And what, any tips if you're making lobster at home? So I like to get everything room temp, that way it cooks okay. evenly. Okay. So uh, that's definitely a, a, a good tip for anybody to use for any type of protein. Okay. So the, the more room temp it is, the more even it'll cook. Okay. So. And so this, how long would this cook then? The lobster is going to approximately take about six to seven minutes. Okay. So we'll let we, that go. Mm -hmm. Right. And it, it'll take, um, we'll, we'll be a lot faster now because I poached it a little bit. Oh, okay. So Got it. We'll be, the, we'll be good. All right. So for people who don't know, if they didn't see earlier, you do have your food truck and we can I find do. all kinds of different seafood um, entrees that you serve up. So we saw this burger earlier on screen and then you have your signature. What is your signature burger again? A shrimp burger. The shrimp burger. Mm -hmm. So people can find you. They just have to uh, follow you on social media. Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. uh, so what inspires your cooking? Because you love seafood. But tell me about what inspires you to do all of this. So I just really love food. I love purchasing food, prepping food, cooking food, just and it's a business that'll never go out of business. And I just... People got to eat, right? I, yeah, most definitely. <laughs> and I love it. So it uh, makes people happy and makes me happy. And well, I just go from there. I, the fact that you can get creative with everything is just really a big plus for sure. One thing really cool about Chef Benita is you have some really interesting clients I that do. we may know. So who stopped by the other day? <laughs> so uh, DeJounte Murray is definitely one of my clients. Um, a lot of the Spurs players. I do a lot of stuff for the guys. Actually, a lot for the organization. That is um, amazing. Other players and other teams. So and Dejounte had a knee injury, so you had to kind of get him ACL. to gain some weight, which is kind of a I'm fun. I'm helping, yes. <laughs> I'm helping, yes. So so, so that's uh, you've, you've added on. So oh, he's definitely uh, put on a lot more weight now. So uh, we're just working with that and seeing how that goes. Wonderful. Hopefully, get him back soon as soon as possible. And you weren't kidding about breakfast in bed, so they can really no, hire you. you can Anybody hire me can for hire anything you. Anything that you need. Any we can do parties for two at your house, or we can do parties for. 2,000 people in Houston like I've done before. Wow. Whatever you need me to do. All right, so tell me what we have here. We got our first layer. So this is just gonna be a little bit of hominy grits that I cooked in a little bit of vegetable stock. Hominy grits, so hominy like I, that you, like you find them in noodle, right? Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then this is a little bit of a hominy hash. It's gonna be charred corn, okay. poblanos, red bell peppers, green onions, mm. uh, cilantro, um, Very and healthy. red onions. So I love, uh, I'm, a big, I'm big on texture, so we have the, the soft velvety grits, then yes. we're gonna have the texture of the veggies okay. and all that. And then we'll have the sweetness from the lobster. You wanna do the yeah. lobster? Uh -huh. All right. Well, we have all of Chef's information on our website, salive.com, as he finishes oh, off here. Oh, it's okay. And it looks amazing. And this is very healthy too, right? Everything is very clean and healthy, most definitely. That's the way I like to cook. So a lot of fresh ingredients. And since everything's local and fresh, you really don't have to do too much to anything. And the wahio, so right? So simplic uh, simplicity is key. All yeah, right. so guaji, wahios you, how many grits, and then a little bit of how many hash. All right, I'm going to eat this and then toss over to Mike. Sorry, Mike, you can't have this right now, but go ahead. <laughs> Better and save some for me. <laughs> Thank and you, the Chef. best way to wash that down, though, is with some great beer. And Erica Teague, co-founder of Cactus Land Brewing, is here. Good afternoon. Okay, look at this variety of beers that she laid out here. Those look absolutely, I mean, all different flavors. And, and the things you make them with are amazing, too. Absolutely. Um, yeah, we've got all types of ingredients here. We've got a Texas juice, our Northeast style hazy IPA. We've got Amarillo. Um, we've got mosaic. We've got citra hops. We've got our blonde, very simple. We've got our goza. It's got raspberry, blueberries, some great stuff going on wow. here. And this is all going to be discussed at a big event coming up this weekend. It's ladies that are in the brewing industry, yeah. in the microbrewing industry. We've got Brewing Up Texas, uh, women in the industry, as we're celebrating um, Women's History Month. We've got um, it's great sponsor, Shiner Beer. Uh, we've got some great partners in with the event, uh, San Antonio Girls Pint Not Out, as well as our San Antonio Women's Chamber of Commerce. Uh, we've got great participants, award-winning Vera Deckard with Kunstler Brewing, local here in San Antonio, my good friend Glennis Aikens with Rugged Man, and uh, Laura Hill with Shiner and our and, GLI partners. And you said this started with you and your husband, kind of, you know, home brew kid. I had one of them years ago, just in your garage, <laughs> and then it grew and grew and grew, right? Absolutely. We started brewing on our stove in our apartment, chilling beer in our bathtub that kind of just grew into a um, into our garage in our house, and then it just kind of kept growing and growing to a commercial brewery. And looking at some of the things, because, I mean, malt and hops, familiar with what's put in beer, but you've got rosemary, uh, coriander, sea salt, which I would think more of, you know, the chef would be using that than putting <laughs> it in beer. And you said that 
this kind of goes along with, with women in the brewing industry because your palate yeah. is a little more refined than us. Absolutely. So what you're drinking right now is our Goza. It's one of our highly rated beers. It's going to be a little acidic, a little tart. We do add a fruit additions to make it super fruity and jammy. Mm -hmm. um, but women, we have such a more complex palate. We like something a little bit more acid um, acidic as well. We do like a little fruit additions to our beer. So this is something that you could just pair up with, obviously, like you do with wines, with different foods, right? Exactly. So what you're enjoying right now is our raw sienna. It's an amber. Raw sienna is actually an art color. You're getting that nice mm. malt color, but it's got a nice malt backbone to it, but still really easy um, drinking for a nice hot day. If somebody is just, you know, they like a, just a, a beer, just a regular old beer, how do you get them to, to get into kind of craft beers like this? Yeah, great question. So something simple, something easy to drink, getting that palate a little bit more educated. I would gear them towards our blonde. Our blonde is a light malt grain. You're using a uh, grain just like this two-row, simple yeast, uh, cleans it up, and it's just light, easy drinking for a nice hot day. Is it tough being in kind of a sort of a male-dominated industry? Um, I think it can be, but I think I'm actually competing with them and I'm joining them. Um, I'm hoping that I'm making um, it easier for women to want to join this industry and being a leader and making just a big impact, especially okay. here in San Antonio. Well, this big event is coming up this weekend and it is open to the public. You can go there, taste some of the beers and yeah. food and everything. Women in the industry and it's happening Friday, this coming Friday the 8th at 6 p.m. at the uh, UTSA Institute of Texan Cultures. Visit Texas texancultures.com forward slash beer for ticket information. Thank you very much. Thank you so Wonderful. much for having me. I'm so excited for Friday and come out and listen to our panel. All right. Tomorrow on SA Live, we are springing into the new season with a local spring gift guide, must have items with Elsa Fernandez from Eye Candy Boutique, plus a local hotspot for Mediterranean food. Took a big hit last September with a flurry of some concerned calls. Tomorrow, David Elder on Elder Eats. He sits down with one of the owners of Pasha as the restaurant works to bounce back. So stay with us. Say live. Want to lose half a pound to a pound a day? Slametica has a plan for you. Just look at the results. Nicole lost 70 pounds and 10 pant sizes with the program, and she looks and feels great. And Slametica is offering a great deal today for our viewers, and we'll get to that in a minute. But first, patient counselor Alexander Castillo here today. So losing weight, we all want to do it, and you know it's always a difficult challenge, but it doesn't have to be, right? It doesn't have to be at all. Our program is very effective. Just like you said, half a pound to a pound per day weight loss is what we see from all of our patients who do the program. It's very effective. It's all medically supervised, and it's not a time-consuming program. Got it. So what are some of the tools that Somatica uses? Well, to start off, it's not a one-size-fits-all program. So we do always start off with running a full, thorough lab analysis. That way we can really treat your body from the inside out. That's what makes it so effective. We're making sure that you don't have any underlying issues. Once you get those lab results back, you follow up with our provider she's going to customize a nutrition program for you and we don't sell any shakes no pre-packaged meals it's all real food we're just showing you healthier ways of eating it and pairing that with prescription medications to make it even easier they're going to help with appetite suppression and just giving your body that extra kick start so you're seeing those rapid results and in combination with the medical we pair the technology and that Cizerona laser oh so we see the laser there so tell me how simple is this you go in and you lay there do you relax. feel anything? nothing at all you just come in and relax like our patient is doing on screen and the laser is doing all the work for you it's painlessly melting your fat the good thing about the laser is it's not time consuming. You just come in for a few minutes, three times a week, lay under there. You can check your emails, take a nap, whatever you want to do during that meantime. And you're going to be losing some inches. The good thing about the laser is it is a non-invasive procedure. So there's no recovery time with it. There's no pain whatsoever. You just come in and relax like our patient is doing and you're going to see those fast results. All right. So you, two inches. Tell me about that. 
Is that the average that people lose a week? So what, uh, again, half a pound to a pound okay. per day is what we okay. see. So an average of around five pounds a week. And we do guarantee an overall four inch loss just within the first two weeks. So halfway through our four week program, it works that quickly. And this is a program that works for both men and women. Okay. For people who made weight loss or New Year's resolution, yes. maybe you haven't gotten to that goal right. yet. Don't give up. Just come in and see us. Spring breaks already next week. Yes. We can have Don't you bikini me. body ready by <laughs> summer. So well, just good. give us a call now. March is a good time to kind of get that refresher for yes, those resolutions. And you have a deal today. Let's talk about that. It's only for the first 10 people who call or text us. It's a really good special. Normally for our four-week package, it's priced at $4,000 today. Just for the first 10 people, you're going to get everything that you see on screen. So it's our four-week package with an extra bonus for over half off. That package is priced at just $1,800. Wow. Okay. So the number's on the screen, 210-361-1480, or visit them online, slimmedica.com. Take advantage of that. And they are there to help you answer all your questions. Alexandra, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. We'll be right back. And of course, that's going to be coming up in just about oh, six minutes yeah, or so. Yeah, and speaking of celebrating International Women's Day and month and all that good stuff, we have Elsa Fernandez tomorrow, and she's featuring all local businesses, your spring shopping guide. They're all female-owned, so I'm excited about that. And we're going to be taking out to a old, new Santico's Theater. Oh, it's yeah, got you the, got really got excited the about that. So it's got the reclining chairs. I think it's a hidden gem, stuff. right? Oh, Somewhere yes, to indeed. go for sure. All right, lots you know to do I'm tomorrow. Going to go see Captain Marvel, too. <laughs> and Elder tomorrow. Eats tomorrow as well.